Okay, here's one of the hatches that were already cut, and you can tell that it's, it's okay, but it's kind of, it doesn't fit really well, and it's kind of crooked. And a friend of mine said, um, you're crazy for doing what I'm about to do, but so you see I've got lines, reference lines, so I'm going to put this plate under here, and then this plate will go on top of that, and this will make a nice, clean look, but I will confess that's gonna be a lot of work to get this done. And I should, probably should just leave this alone, but it's just, it's just not my style. So, here we go. So this is about completed here. You can tell I've got about a quarter of inch material around the edge. This plate originally, the bottom plate of course, is glued on the corners here and around the edges. And this is your original plate. You can tell if I did, you know, if I cut the skin out, the skin is what's holding this plate in. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've made the plate, as you can see, much smaller. So this will just go pop in here. And you can tell it's a very tight fit, very flush, other than this one corner right here. And then that goes like that. And of course, I'm going to fiberglass over this, so that this is just a hatch. And it goes in like that. Nice and smooth, clean, a whole lot better than what it was, but there's a lot of work in that. Um, so it's, I don't know if it's worth it or not, but it does look a whole lot better. So I'm gonna show the process. Now these are just scrap pieces in here. You'll see what I'm gonna do with those here in just a minute. But got the T-pins, oops, dropped one. Got the T-pins and these are just as guides to help me with the screw holes, make sure they're gonna line up. Could use the screws, but this just works a little better, a little faster. And I don't want to be putting screws in and out. So we'll make sure everything's lined up. That's in the center right here. Just go just that way a little bit. So I've cut my plate. Now the plate you notice is cut thinner on this side or wide here. That's because this hatch was cut so bad that I'm gonna to have to fill in that area. So let's see if we can get it on here. This is just so we can get our marks and we'll make sure that it's all nice and level once again make sure that it is straight I've got my measurement there and I'm just gonna make sure everything is good and we're gonna mark it Once we do that, there is your template to cut the rest of this out with. Just going to get some of these pieces out. All right, so what I use to cut that with is the old fashioned Dremel tool. Works good, slow speed, cuts the skin really fast. Here we go. You just go real slow. you'll know because this is a soft material you'll know when you hit that you'll feel it go through so you don't have to worry about cutting through that material I went all along
this is a little bit of a guessing game right here because you don't want to go too far back up in there. If you go a little bit, it's not big, but you can tell I can't get the blade underneath there. It's a little bit right there, so uh, that's the way I cut all these pieces out. And then later on, if I feel any roughness, I can take this and just use it like that, and it'll cut all that out. But I'm not going to show the rest of it because it's just time consuming. Now we've vacuumed all that up and got it nice and clean. Everything looks smooth. Now let's see if our plate we made will fit. And it fits like a glove. Now, you notice I got some areas here that I went a little too far. I got a little carried away. We got to be sure and that's high sawed and done. And really make sure we got that because this could start a crack in the fiberglass. And I may even drill these out a little bit just to be sure that this doesn't go anywhere. Uh, that's we're getting a little haphazard and you know, you've got to watch things like that because you don't want this to crack later on. So you want to make sure it's filled. You can tell I'm going to have a little gap back in here in this area, but looks to me like we'll have a nice flat right there in this corner. We might have to sand this plate down just a little bit, but everything else is nice and neat. So that's pretty much how you put a nice new hatch in. It looks good, it's clean. Our arm will come up here. Um, you know, we've got plenty of room to go wherever we need. It's in the center, it looks good. And once it's been lightly fiberglassed over this, and then the detail work put back in, you'll never know that that was ever done any differently. Now, it's, earlier I talked about, like if we went too far off the saw underneath this lip, it's not a big deal because we're gonna pack high saw back under those areas and make sure we got that area nice and done. Because we don't want it oozing out and causing us trouble in some of these areas. But we wanna make sure we got, got it packed in there all the way around the edges. Just spreading it out, trying not to get it on everything. I'm leaving a little more of it in here because I want it to ooze out because I want to fill in this gap. finger kind of go around the edges here because this is the one area I don't want high saw in. It's not a big deal if you did. You can always get it out, but it's just better if you don't. You can see where it bled through there. Not a big deal. It's a nice gonna clean it up though because we don't want anything in our way and you see I do have some came through here make sure we get that out it's pretty easy to wipe away make sure because anything that pops loose is gonna be it's gonna prevent my plate from going down flush so we want to make sure we get all that clean and it looks clean I'm gonna put some 
clamps on it, and then we're going to do call it done. This is the side that's a little high. The rest of it, I don't have to really worry about it too much. I'll put one clamp there. Make sure nothing else bleeds through. This side's perfect. I'm good there. Let's see if I can't put another clamp here. If I've got room. said it many times before, you can never have enough clamps when you're building. There we go. Now it's just clean up, make sure that, you know, you can clean it up now. It's a lot easier. You don't have to sand everything down. You can clean a little bit of this excess up. Because this high saw dries pretty hard. Pretty, pretty hard. I'm going to leave a little extra right there. And let's see, squeegee this off. Might be enough. Easier said and done with that one clamp right there. There we go. But that's it, folks. Um, it'll turn out just like the other one. It's real clean, but that's the process. So we're just going to finish out the video with all the completed hatches. Also with the pop-down light, which is very common on... P-51 Mustangs, P-47s, a lot of airplanes have these lights, even some jets. And then of course you can see one hatch is done and then this is the hatch when it is uh, open. Of course, this section here is just gonna be fiberglassed over and of course you would not fiberglass it like this or you just glue it in. So thin fiberglass around the edge and then you do the top and be sure not to get any resin down in these areas because it's a very tight fit. Of course, this is the flap um, servo. And then the aileron, I did make these a little longer so I get better travel to turn the original hole. And then of course, then we have the pop, pop down light, uh, which is a really neat feature. So that gives it out and it just comes out like that. Comes up. And then it's also angled down so it's showing the ground and then it's just retracted back in. So I made that piece. You can tell right here, it's got a little boo-boo. Got to fix that. So and some, looks pretty rough, but it's all smooth and clean. So anyway, that's how you put in these uh, hatches and hope everybody enjoyed the video.